they look at and that was recording artist and Oakland native Jay Walt, and he joins us now in studio. Jay Walt, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Thank you for having me. How you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Excited to have an Oakland native here uh, on the show to talk about all of your success so far. Uh, I would love to start off, first and foremost, you're a little bit younger in mm. the game, but you've been in the game for a minute now. Yeah. How did you first get started in music? Yeah, so yeah, so I started off doing um, poetry, actually. So I started doing poetry when I was like eight years old. Um, I started doing that in the OESD, Oakland Unified School District, Martin Luther King Oratorical Fest. Um, growing up, I was kind of like a little bit of a troublemaker and everything. So like, um, I had this one second grade teacher. She was like, you know, you're always using your voice and everything. You're always like speaking in class. I was getting in trouble. Maybe you should try like, Doing, using your voice for like a, for the better and doing something powerful with it. So she introduced me to the Martin Luther King Oratorical Fest. From there, I also had a cousin. He was a poet and a hip-hop artist. His name was Javad Jackson. And uh, he was a hip-hop and poet, and he passed away. So I wanted to continue on his legacy. And uh, that's what I did. I started something for me to just like continue on what he was doing, but then it turned into a passion, you know? So I started doing poetry. When I was in middle school, I started getting into hip-hop. I saw the correlations between hip-hop and poetry. Then I fell in love with hip-hop, and then I've been doing it ever since. Since. And, and now here you are. Here we and are. Like you said, ever since you've been doing your thing in yeah. hip hop, and you've actually had a lot of collaborations, run ins with some very popular Bay yeah. Area rappers and yeah. artists. Can you tell me about that? Yeah. Um, so it's, it's funny, even when I was younger, when I was in middle school and everything, um, you know, Mr. Fab, he's like a, a definitely like a big Oakland legend and Bay Area legend. And he's someone that um, I actually met one time I was on Sway Fest. It was the first time Sway, from, um, also from Oakland, California, yep. he uh, threw this thing in, um, I think it was in Plank in Oakland, downtown Oakland. It was just the first time he got honored for Sway Day and he got a um, key to the city and everything. Mm -hmm. So um, he threw this big thing at Plank and Mr. Fab was there and he was performing and I ran into Mr. Fab and that's when I connected with him. And then from there, when I was in middle school, I'd always go to a shop when it was in North Oakland. I would just to go hang out and talk to him. And from there, he just continued on connecting with me. So as I continue on making more music and getting bigger, he always showed love. Um, I met E40. Um, E40 is someone that's also showed love to me. Mm -hmm. I did an um, event for Steph Curry, his 10th year anniversary at the Fox Theater, and E40 performed in Too Short and everyone. So that's when I connected with them. And then when I performed at the Oracle Arena, now called the Oakland Arena, I'm opening up for Nas and Wu-Tang, and Too Short was there too. So I connected with Too Short. And a lot of these legends have just been showing love yeah. since then. So. And we're actually seeing some video yeah. footage now <laughs> yeah. of yeah. Too Short, which is so awesome. We saw yeah. in uh, just a few minutes ago, too, some video of that. Mm -hmm. For you, what was it like to be a kid from the Bay Area yeah. and you grew up admiring some of these artists, but now you're opening, you're the yeah. opening act yeah. for some of these artists. It's, it's, how, it's, how is that? It's still surreal. Sometimes it still doesn't feel real. Cause, you know, I grew up listening to, to Too Short, E-40, Hieroglyphic, Souls of Mission, all these Bay Area legends. So being able to be in the same rooms as them, being able to open it up, but then also like them getting the same respect, um, them giving me respect as I give them. It's just, it's, it's a full circle moment, you know? It still yeah. doesn't feel real sometimes when I'm on the stage as them and um, just talking to them and them showing love, you know? So it, it's definitely so real but it also just shows that I'm going in the right direction you know? I believe it and yeah. you're not just an artist you're also mm. a student yeah so you're balancing that student life while traveling yep. and also trying to be an artist yeah for you how do you do it how do you balance it yeah um, it's something I've been balancing for a while you know um, I went to Oakland School for the Arts um, at OSA in downtown Oakland so um, I started just being that's when I started to learn how to balance it you know um, being able to be an artist and go to school for it was was something that huge and it led me to where I am now now. So I started to figure that out when I was in high school, but then I eventually moved to NYU. I go to NYU in the Clive Davis Institute of Recording Music. So yeah, so every luckily I, I study music, so a lot of my professors and teachers know that this is what I do and this is um, what, I, what I've been doing. So like, it's something that my prep professors know and teachers I've known for a while when I'm like have to have a show or like when I'm traveling like they're aware of like what I'm doing in my career and everything but it's hard you know because college is college still yeah. you know it's a it could be a lot but it's something I've been learning to balance you know kind of just like a student athlete I kind of treat it like you know as a student artist you know I have to I'm gonna yeah. have to balance both you know of course now yeah. what's next for you Jay Wall in yeah. the music industry yeah just continue to drop in more music you know um 2023 is a you know is a new year and everything so I'm just gonna keep on being consistent I have a lot of new music 
music, I've been holding on to a lot of dope collaborations with mm -hmm. a, a lot of different people. So I'm excited to just give people the new music. And people can catch all of your stuff on what platforms? Yeah, on everywhere. Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, all, the whole nine. Um, at J Walt, just look up J Duff. J-W-A-L-T, um, on Instagram, official.jwalt, um, I'm everywhere, so just look it up, J-Walt. Awesome, well, congratulations on all of your success, Thank and we you. can't wait to see everything that's coming for you in 2023. Thank you for having me. I